and toughness and an identity. Quarterback Blake Bortles often criticized but elevated his play in the playoffs, both with his legs and his arm. Here we go, here we go. For the defense, that's where the big transition happened. Yannick Ngakwe coming off the edge. Calais Campbell, maybe the best player in the defensive line in the league last season. But Jalen Ramsey out at corner, he gives them their swagger, he gives them their look, and he gives them great play on the edge. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Oh, 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 oh. Portals now to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. A fake to Fournette, now it's Bortles to throw. He can run for it, and he will. And avoids the contact by sliding. A Jacksonville first down on a pickup of 17. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here we go, here we go. Again, it's Fournette. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to make it third down and ten. Shotgun now for Bortles. Escape. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Robert Ayers in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And he's going to miss. It's this one. That is no good. Well outside to left upright. And this score will stay right where it is. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Now the first NFL carry for Saquon Barkley. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down.
On second down, here's Lawletta. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come Detroit, up with something Detroit. here on third down. Detroit! Detroit! All right, now, lucky 56! Lucky 56! Throwing on third down, Lawletta. He finds Beckham complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw Ripper. right there Ripper. to move the sticks. No, 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 no. Jack, Patriot, Patriot. A first down carry for Barkley. And this one goes nowhere. Ripper. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Lawletta looking to throw on second down. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I would missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a different story. long night. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Second down, they run with Stewart. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. First trip to the red zone for the Giants. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. Here's a give to Barkley. Touchdown number one of the NFL career for young star Saquon Barkley. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And a nice little start to the career for the rookie here, hitting the end zone in week one of his career. And that's a true welcome to the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker that says, all right, Rook, here you are. <laughs> But when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. Rosas good with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Rosas now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. This offense trots back out there now, and as they do, Charles, one thing to point out that we saw a second ago are some of the new rules in the NFL this year regarding kickoffs. Yeah, nowadays, the kickoff team, no more running starts. Remember that when you can you got him circle a guy around, and here he goes? 
no more. You have to start, you know, close to the ball. And when it's kicked, then you get to take off and go. So you can't build up your speed that way. Also, when you're returning it, remember those wedges that we used to say where guys would form together, two or three guys? No more of those. So it'd be a lot more man-on-man, one-on-one blocking. And also they have rules about where people have to be when the ball's kicked, where they have to be when the ball's caught. So to me, it's much more like a punt return than it is an actual kickoff return. So I'm eager to see if teams now take their punt returners, those nifty guys who make people miss in the open field, and make them the kickoff returners as well, because I think you can still get big plays in this area if you have the right people back there. Here we go, here we go. Bunch right, bunch right, bunch right. Hey, spread left. Spread right. left. On second down, here's Bortles. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is down deep into giant territory. It's a big play. Bortles to Westbrook. 65 yards. A lot of attention paid this week in practice to red zone offense. The coach was optimistic about how it went. We'll see. Portals on the give to Fournette. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Do you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up in run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he'll take this one down near the 15. A gain of a yard gets him back where they started. Now it's third and 10. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. On third down, Fournette. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. The Giants making their way out, and at this point, you would have to think that all mentions of last year maybe erased from team history, or at least that's what they want. It clearly, Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, the talent on this team, too good for another 3-13 and 13 finish, right? And I think that was reflected in their draft in 2018. Because if it was an all-out rebuild, they would have drafted a quarterback at number two. Instead, they drafted Saquon Barkley. So that signals to me... They want to get back to running the football and trying to punish people on offense and take the pressure off of Eli Manning. And on the defensive side of the ball, they obviously have to get better. But believe it or not, you know who can really help them there? Their head coach, Pat Shermer. Comes from a defensive family, understands how valuable it is, and loves the toughness. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. A first down carry out for Yeldon. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. To throw, it's Bortles. There's the first NFL catch for DJ Shark, and he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. 
A full start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Yeldon. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and ten. Throwing on second down. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll make it third and one. Here we go. Came up a little Spread short right. on the last Spread pass right. play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Bortles to throw on third and one. The quick slant caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to punch it in before that, and this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Spread right, spread right, spread right, spread right, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Three to six. Portals to throw on second down. Pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Olivier Vernon in there to get him for a loss of five. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Here's Fournette. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. It's about a three-yard pick up there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, and you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. I don't think anyone got a finger on it. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. They'll start out on the ground in Saquon Barkley. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Here's Lawletta to Berkeley on the check down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Looking for a first down throw. And it pops 
free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On second and ten, Loletta. He's going to let it go deep for Mitchell. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Lawletta back to the air. And that's incomplete. The linebacker, Telvin Smith, able to get a hand on it there. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, and he can't get away from the pressure, the Giants get there. Olivier Vernon in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, it's Bortles. And the pressure gets to him again. Vontez perfect in there to drop him and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. A final shot before half for Bortles. And this one is incomplete. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change-ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half see how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line 17 yards on the pickup there the drive will continue it's a first down And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Lawletta now on second. The shepherd complete over the middle. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. 
Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Barry Church, the strong safety, the one to get him down. Shotgun snap to Lawletta. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. Heck of a move and then brought down near the 23. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Rosas now to kick this one away. With it on the return now, here's Westbrook. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script Sunday, to start Sunday, a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Bortles going to run the draw with Fournette. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The tackle by Janoris Jenkins. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. And you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the gun on third down, Bortles. Hard throw, incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And now out come the Giants. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were Detroit, confident enough Detroit. to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Ah. he'll look to throw. Now complete this to Ingram is tight in. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Out of the gun, Loretta. Over the middle, he's got his tight end Ingram. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They'll run with Barkley. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. From the gun, here's Lorletta. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. On third down, Barkley. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. It's taken to the 26. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Jaguars getting set to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Bortles over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Crash, crash, crash. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. To throw is Bortles. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Dante Moncrief that time. And his third and short. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll toss it to Fournette. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Second down, here's Lawletta. Pushing his way inside the 40. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And they finally take him down, but not before he reaches the 43. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. On the run, it's Barkley. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
And you remember pre-draft, there was a lot of speculation that the Giants should look for their future quarterback at number two with a great possibility. Remember, Sam Darnold from USC was still on the board, but they passed on him to take this runner. Saquon Barkley. And this is exactly why they think he can extend the life of Eli Manning's career and give them 1,000-yard seasons year after year. They haven't had a 1,000-yard season since 2012. Ahmad Bradshaw did it there. They come out here in the eye. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine. It's going to take to slow them down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Lawletta on third and goal. Flushed out right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. And that was just situational football 101 right there. Excellent decision to throw that one away. You know he would have loved to have converted right there, keep the pressure on and build on this lead. But the best play, avoid the sack, taking care of the football. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now Bortles. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. The Jaguars on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Bortles. And that is incomplete. Strong safety landed Collins, the one who got a hand in there, knocked it away. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And the Jaguars send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And it'll be Giant football first and ten. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A terrific run by the rookie Barkley. And even 60 yards. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 23. On first down, it's Lawletta. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. 
And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Third and two, Lawletta. And Ingram holds it in. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. their lead to 28. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Keep it on the ground. This time it's Yeldon. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Here's a give to Fournette, and this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. Now they'll throw it. Bortles. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Landon Collins. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is a, just a big, big man. Big, a huge man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> Third 
The Giants on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run it. Here's Stewart. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we've put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. Had the fly over the big American.